good morning everybody thank you so much to everybody for joining us for our webinar all about the top 10 rail holidays to north america this is a big one this morning we normally do about five or six holidays but we're going to go in with 10 today um, our 10 top holidays all through the usa and canada so hopefully everybody's got their cup of tea all warm for them so they can uh, settle into some serious holiday inspiration across the pond today. My name's Sarah Turner. I work in marketing here at Railbookers and Amtrak Vacations. And I am so pleased that so many people have given up a little bit of their morning to join us for this presentation. Before we get started, I would just like to take a couple of minutes to wax lyrical on uh, how fantastic I think uh, the guys here are at Railbookers. Hopefully you know this if you've booked with us before, but we'd love to just to tell you why book with Railbookers. First and foremost, we are the rail experts. Our team here are absolutely fantastic, what we call self-confessed train geeks. These guys have serious knowledge on all of the best routes, timings, railway systems all over the world. And they use our insider access, so direct partnerships with rail companies and hotels across Europe, North America, far beyond that too. And this means that we have access to special rates and to special availability. You can book your holiday with us at any time, even if tickets aren't on sale to the public yet. So you don't have to, to you know, pay any attention to any ticketing windows or anything you might have heard of. With Railbookers, we're booking this year, next year, into 2020. So wherever it is that you're hoping to go, just let us know. We just want to make it as hassle-free as possible because we know it can be complicated with so many different routes, trains, languages. It can be a stressful task. That's where we step in. We'll professionally plan your holiday and uh, all you'll need to do is sit back, relax and enjoy the scenery. All of these reasons are why we are so pleased to have won so many awards in our sector as well. Just a couple of the uh, rail partners that we work with here. We work with all of our rail partners all over the world. Obviously, we're going to have a, a look at Amtrak and Via Rail, particularly today over across the pond. But wherever it is that you're hoping to go, whether it's in Europe or, uh, or further afield, do let us know. As far as holiday types go, you can tell us what type of holiday that you're interested in. Everything we do can be completely tailor made. So any itinerary that you see on a brochure or in one of our webinars or on our website, those are just ideas. Those are our top sellers, things that we think offer the best combination of cities and amounts of time. But you tell us exactly where you want to go. <clears throat> We certainly specialize in scenic rail holidays, and we're going to look at some of the most scenic rail holidays across the pond on this presentation today. Luxury private train journeys. Spoiler alert, we're going to cover the Rocky Mountain here um, in some detail on this presentation. But whether it's the Orient Express or, you know, the luxury Trans-Siberian routes, anything at all, you just let us know. City breaks are very popular. With these high-speed trains, you can get so far, so quickly by train to Barcelona or Berlin in less than a day, to Amsterdam now direct. I'm sure everybody saw that in the news. Uh, our head of European Rail gets to do a sneak peek journey tomorrow. Um, so I will report back and let you know what he thinks of it. Rail and sail with maybe an Alaska cruise, or if you've got your own cruise books and you wanted us to help you get down to the port, do a little rail holiday before or after, let us know. Lakes and mountains all over the world. We're going to have a look at uh, some lakes and mountains holidays today in this presentation, certainly. Our top destinations are, of course, the USA and Canada, together with our sister brand, Amtrak Vacations. And But within Europe, Italy, Switzerland, Scandinavia, Spain and Portugal, anywhere that it's fantastically easy and scenic to get to by rail, places like Italy, where you can travel down through the Swiss Alps to Venice or Florence or Rome, or the scenic trains in Switzerland, like the Glacier or Benina Express, some big bucket list trips over in Switzerland for rail enthusiasts. 
Spain and Portugal. We've got a blue sky in London today, but that doesn't stop it uh, being incredibly cold. So that's about when I start thinking about my holidays. Um, and Spain and Portugal definitely be nice, warm destinations that it's really, really easy to get around by train. Scandinavia as well, whether that's linking up the most popular you know, kind of capital cities or the big cities in that region, or doing a bucket list trip like the Norway in a nutshell journey through the Norwegian fjords. That's certainly a, a top destination for us. This right here is a image that we've made of the Amtrak Vacations Network map. So this shows the routes and the main destinations in the USA and in Canada. Amtrak actually has over 500 stops all over the country. So it's much more comprehensive than people might think. But these certainly are the main places that it visitors. You can see the national parks and the big cities and uh, the names of some scenic routes there that we're going to have a look at in this presentation. And I'm very excited to be able to bring this to you guys. Um, and you're actually the first little group of people to see it, as this doesn't actually start until tomorrow. But if you're thinking about a North America rail holiday, then now is the time to, to get involved with that. Um, we're offering fantastic savings on upgrades to roomettes, to bedrooms, on Amtrak, or to berths, cabins, and prestige class uh, on Via Rail. So these are brilliant. Brilliant savings, as uh, you might be um, might be aware if you've looked into a looked into a North American rail holidays before. But uh, yeah, don't tell your friends. <laughs> well, do. But this is officially going live tomorrow. But we thought we'd give everybody who's uh, signed up to our webinars a little sneak peek of it today. Let's look at some holidays. We've got 10 <laughs> to uh, ten to have a look at. Um, if you guys have any questions at all throughout the whole presentation, there should be a little box on the side of your screen, like a little pop-up um, that's got a questions box. So you can pop those in there. I'll get around to answering some at the end of the presentation, or somebody will be in touch with an answer to every single one of your questions. So no, no question goes unanswered here at Railbookers. We're going to start off with one of my favorite holidays, one of our most popular holidays. And this was actually the first uh, the first Amtrak route that I ever that I ever took before I'd even heard of rail bookers. Um, it was a it, it was less of a life back then. I'm sure I'm sure you can imagine. But I did the trip from Memphis down to New Orleans back in the beginning of 2013, just before I joined up with rail bookers. Um, and this is a fantastic holiday for combining three amazing cities with a great trip on the city of New Orleans train from Chicago down through Memphis to New Orleans. If you're a music fan like I am, this is a great option because you'll get all of the blues in Chicago, the rock and roll in Memphis and New Orleans jazz as well. You'll start off your journey with a flight into Chicago. You can fly from any airport in the UK. Uh, just let us know which one your local is. Or obviously, the, the most flights do go out of London. So you can get down to London. You can fly out of there. Chicago, I visited for the first time uh, in the summer of last year. And I was absolutely blown away by it, not least because of the amazing architecture, things like the Willis Tower, the Hancock Center, and uh, they've got an amazing neo-Gothic Tribune Tower there as well. You can do an architecture river cruise that we're more than happy to book for you. Uh, it was actually booked the top, the top sort of sightseeing trip in America. Um, last year and it was fantastic. Chicago famous for uh, museums, galleries, but also pizza, sport and comedy. So <laughs> that's, a, that's a great top three things there. Chicago is also the Amtrak hub in the US for the long distance journey. So we're going to see a lot of it um, in this presentation. It is a wonderful city. It's somewhere that uh, I cannot recommend enough if you have never traveled there before. From Chicago, it is one overnight on Amtrak. Um, so if you've never done an overnight train before, that's a really good kind of starting. You know, just start with one night. You're bound to love it because it's fantastic. The food on board is amazing, freshly cooked, really exciting experience sleeping on board the train as well. Very easy to get to sleep. The train kind of rocks you into a, a nice gentle slumber. 
when you wake up, then uh, you will be coming into Memphis, which is one of the most exciting cities in the US, uh, based on the Mississippi River. You, if you love music and barbecue, this is where you want to be heading. We'll include a sightseeing tour, so you'll get to see Beale Street and all of the main sites around the city. And of course, we'll include admission to Graceland, the home of Elvis Presley as well. That is a must do while you are in Memphis. From there, you'll reboard the City of New Orleans train, as some of you might know, uh, made famous by the Willie Nelson song. Uh, you'll go across the Mississippi River like you do here as you travel through Blues Country down to New Orleans. It's a, it's a fairly long journey, but it's not an overnight. Um, so you'll get to see the amazing scenery in the daylight. And then you'll get to New Orleans, um, which I went to in 2013. Um, to go to Jazz Fest, saw Fleetwood Mac and Willie Nelson uh, there in 2013. New Orleans is a breathtaking city. We'll include a jazz brunch for you, so all you can eat jazz brunch with an amazing band playing live jazz at the Court of Two Sisters, very famous restaurant in New Orleans. We'll also include a river cruise on one of those paddle steamers that you might have seen and a sightseeing city tour as well. New Orleans is a yeah, as, as I said, it's a fantastic city. All three of the cities on this holiday are really, really kind of key ones if uh, you've not visited them before. And uh, the train journey is an iconic one. The scenery is fantastic as well. So that's definitely one of our most popular trips. I should add in, um, just on that holiday as well, a lot of people ask us about traveling out to Nashville, which we certainly can do to kind of make it jazz, blues, rock and roll and country. Uh, there's no railway station in Nashville, um, which is which is a, a great pity. I'm sure you'll, you'll agree. But we can include car hire, we can include a, a transfer, or we can include sort of a, a, a coach link to get out you out to Nashville and back. Whatever you want, however you want to get there, definitely uh, do recommend adding in a trip to Nashville as well. Coast to coast holidays are incredibly popular here at Railbookers um, and with our sister brand Amtrak Vacations as well. I'm sure you can understand why once you've flown all the way to the US, it's such a shame to take an internal flight. I really do think that, especially when the scenery is so fantastic. <clears throat> We've got six or seven different kind of coast to coast holidays. There are almost infinite routes you could take to get from one side of the US to the other by train. We'll include two in this presentation. Now, this one I've included because it involves some of the most amazing cities. You get to see New York, Washington DC and Chicago before traveling on the Southwest Chief train. Not sure if uh, we've got any Michael Portillo fans watching the webinar today, but uh, that's the journey that he did last year. Um, the Amtrak Southwest Chief that takes you to the Grand Canyon. Uh, will include the Grand Canyon Railway and then from LA up to San Francisco, the Coast Starlight train, beautiful coastal journey. Start off in New York, uh, one of my favorite cities. Even if you've been 10 times, there's always something new to do in NYC. We'll include a trip to the Empire State Building so you can see the city from the top, ferry out to the Statue of Liberty, a city pass with all kinds of different activities that you can do. So you're really making the most of your time there. It's only about three and a half hours from New York City down to Washington, DC. That's travel from city center to city center. No airport transfers or anything like that. You go from just blocks from Times Square in New York City, from Penn Station in Midtown to Union Station at the foot of Capitol Hill in Washington, DC. We'll include a hop on hop off tour so you can get around really easily, see all of the amazing sites that are on offer in Washington, D.C. Um, obviously, the uh, the Lincoln Memorial and the, the mall and there's so much to do. We'll also include a Monuments by Moonlight tour so you'll get to see everything kind of illuminated after dark. Really wonderful to see it from that different perspective. One overnight on board Amtrak, so do keep in mind that uh, that amazing flash sale that saves you huge amounts, genuinely, on uh, on overnight upgrades on Amtrak. 
you get to Chicago where we will include the hop on hop off so you can get from place to place. Chicago is a huge city, but because of the way sort of all the architecture is up, it maintains quite a, a small, you know, the, the core is quite small kind of vibe to it. Really easy to walk around from a from a lot of the places and we'll include that hop on hop off to get you from place to place so you can explore the city, different parts of it on foot. Then you'll board the Southwest Chief, that amazing train. You'll get down to the Grand Canyon, linking up with the Grand Canyon Railway. Very famous, popular uh, tourist train, if you will. Uh, you can see these kind of, you know, uh, mock shoot 'em ups from the side of the tracks and things like that as you travel. Um, this is a really popular experience, a lot of fun. When you're at the Grand Canyon, we'll include a sightseeing tour of the South Rim, so you'll get to see how incredible it is. For natural beauty, this is one of the, the world's hotspots. It really is. If you want to add on things like helicopter tours and stuff like that, just let one of our rail experts know. And we really want to build the perfect trip to the Grand Canyon for you, as it is a once in a lifetime beautiful place to visit. The Southwest Chief, now of Michael Portillo fame, uh, is the railway journey through the American West. You go across bits of the Mississippi and you go through eight states as you take its full journey. Wheat fields through uh, ranches and pueblos and missions, along uh, huge bits of the desert and through canyons that are literally, you know, a foot either side of the train. Absolutely amazing scenery. And you'll have huge observation cars with panoramic windows that you can sit, have a beer, watch the scenery as it rolls by. This is the way to travel through the USA. There's no doubt in my mind about that. You'll end up in Los Angeles, home of uh, many of the stars and Hollywood itself. We'll include a sightseeing tour so you can see the stars' homes and things like that. Bit cheesy, but it's a must do when you're in LA. Then you will travel on the coast starlight from LA to San Francisco. It's about half of the journey. I did it myself last summer. Anyone who's new to my webinars um, might not know that, that a large part of them is me just telling you all about the holidays I've been on, um, which is a huge indulgence for me. But uh, it really is, you know, it, it, we all love to share um, our knowledge here of kind of, you know, the, uh, the trips that we have done. LA to San Francisco is all in daylight. You'll go right up the coast, literally that far. That is a picture of the train from the uh, from the Pacific Ocean in California. Absolutely gorgeous scenery. You see people surfing and palm trees along big stretches of the ocean. It's very Beach Boys-esque. It's a great journey. Sit in the observation car and watch the scenery go by. <clears throat> it's about a full day of travel, it's about 10 hours, but they will fly by um, as you get up to San Francisco. The city by the bay will include a hop on, hop off tour. So you can visit Golden Gate Bridge, Golden Gate Park as well. Pier 39, where you can see the sea lions are really, really cute. Um, you can visit Haight-Asbury there as well, kind of the, the hippie area from the 1960s and Union Square, where a lot of uh, famous things in history have happened. So there's a loads to see in San Francisco. We'll, we'll, we'll give you a good couple of nights, but if you would like to extend it, then uh, who could blame you? It's a fantastic city. Great American majestic landscapes. This is another coast to coast journey. Um, and whilst it doesn't have as many cities in it, it does have the inimitable California Zephyr train, which is one of the most scenic train journeys in the whole world. And certainly um, I've been lucky enough to do train journeys all over the uh, all over the globe. Um, and this is one of my absolute favorites. The scenery is phenomenal. You'll we'll start off in New York City. When I did this trip, I actually started off in Boston um, and then the train kind of links together in, in uh, upstate New York, the Boston and the, the New York City part and travels on to Chicago as one unit. So if you wanted to do Boston instead of NYC, if you've already been or, you know, you can find a good flight, then that's no problem at all. Give you a hop on, hop off in New York City to make sure you're exploring it to its fullest and a city pass in Chicago, which gives you VIP entry to the Shed Aquarium, where the, perhaps the world's most famous aquarium that one is. The Sky Deck to get the amazing panoramic views over that incredible architecture that we spoke about earlier. The Field Museum, the Planetarium and much more as well. 
From Chicago, you'll board the California Zephyr. It's a scenic journey. Uh, it's not the incredible stretch, but it is still really scenic. Go through sort of the, uh, the cornfields and through lots of sort of little picturesque towns between Chicago and Denver. Denver is a really exciting city. There's loads going on. Uh, very young, lots of uh, great bars and restaurants. And uh, if you're into beer, it's one of the uh, the capitals for a micro brewery. So absolutely fantastic um, places to go and to go and get half a pint or something. Something very nice indeed. We will include from Denver a trip to Rocky Mountain National Park, um, which I did when I was there. And, you know, you can't help but sing, uh, sing John Denver Rocky Mountain High the whole way as you go around. Really easy distance from Denver to do as a day trip see the hotel from The Shining and things like that, and breathtaking scenery. The national parks of the US are truly something to behold. From Denver, you can board the California Zephyr train again for one of the most scenic train rides in the world through the Rocky Mountains, the Sierra Nevadas, along the banks of the Colorado River, really through the kind of the wild sort of west, as it were. Absolutely gorgeous views. That's a picture of the train going through the uh, the scenery there. We woke up at uh, about five o'clock in the morning in July to uh, to watch the sun come up over the Rocky Mountains. I actually did the journey in the other direction, but, uh, but the same thing could... Uh, could apply and it's just amazing to sit there with a cup of really good and the, the coffee on Amtrak is really good um, and sit with a good cup of coffee and watch the sun come up on and uh, views like that is an absolute bucket list experience of course there's a, there are a couple of overnights on this uh, on this holiday so do keep in mind the uh, the great offers with our flash sale as this holiday is all about landscapes, when you get to San Francisco, we'll include a trip to Napa and Sonoma Valley to the wine country. So you can uh, see the incredible kind of uh, landscapes there. Very, very different experience. If you wanted to do the Napa Valley wine train, that's sort of a, an old kind of Pullman style train that had the posh dinners and things on board. We organize those for lots of customers. So just let us know. We'd be more than happy to do that. And we'll take a, a brief departure from the USA now and focus on Canada, as many of the most scenic rail journeys in the whole world do sit in, in, uh, in Canada. There's two main ways to get around by train. We'll look at both Via Rail, the, the national rail operator of Canada, and the incredibly luxurious Rocky Mountaineer train. As within the USA, we'll include sort of extras and sightseeing in all of our holidays um, to the to Canada as well as the US. We can include anything you'd like, or if there's anything you've done or you uh, you'd like to skip, that's no problem. As I said, it is all completely tailor-made. But we have such brilliant product teams over in the USA who have made kind of these perfect itineraries with the best of kind of each location. We, um, you know, over in the US, Amtrak Vacations has been going for, for years and years and years, and these guys have got it down to a T. They have done all these journeys themselves. The team in uh, London have been lucky enough to do many of them themselves too. So we're very happy to give you our top tips and recommendations. But let's have a look at the Rocky Mountains uh, as done by Via Rail uh, in Canada. Could do this in reverse if you'd rather just keep that in mind for all of the trips in vancouver we'll include a trip to the vancouver lookout so you can look out on this amazing west coast seaport it's kind of got the ocean on one side mountains on the other a really thriving art music and theater scene so definitely a great city to uh, to travel to it's sunny for uh, for for much of the year We'll include a hop on hop off so you can get from place to place very very easily before you'll board via rail have one night on board the train towards jasper you'll go through the rocky mountains you can sit in the observation car look out at pyramid falls and, and lots of national kind of uh, natural monuments as well in jasper we'll include a sightseeing tour so you really get to soak up the best of the canadian rockies with that other basket uh Viewport and Glacier, Malign Lake and Canyon, absolutely wonderful experience. I like these tours because they kind of offer the best of both worlds, I think. So you're traveling independently. These holidays aren't escorted, um, you know, so you can do exactly what you like all of the time. But then for the uh, for the bits that, you know, that you want to guide, that you want to be able to look around the best parts of the uh, of the scenery, then we'll include small group guided tours. So you don't miss anything and you get all of the history and the uh, the details of the area. It's 
really is the best of both worlds. From Jasper, you can transfer on to Banff. Uh, we'll do you a trip to the Columbia Ice Field, um, the longest expanse of snow south of the Arctic Circle. Truly a sight to behold. It really, really is. Uh, you can also go on the Skywalk. So it's this glass platform that gives you kind of views up, down, left, right, all around of the amazing scenery of the Rocky Mountains. Banff is one of the most beautiful places um, in all of the world. We work with lots of different hotels, so let us know what you like. But, we'll, but we tend to like to put people in kind of traditional lodges. They've got some quite luxurious ones, if that's sort of your thing as well. Really give you an authentic experience of the area. We'll also include a trip to Lake Louise, those amazing turquoise waters of that lake. It, it must be one of the most photographed places in Canada, uh, definitely in the, uh, in the Rocky Mountains. We'll include the tour to Johnson Canyon as well. You can canoe on the lake or, you know, hike loads of opportunities for hiking. Or that's the incredibly famous Fairmont Hotel where you can get afternoon tea if you'd like to sit and look at the lake rather than kind of paddle in it, as it were. Um, whatever, whatever you like. From there, you travel on to Calgary where you can catch a flight back to the UK or certainly extend your journey on if you'd rather. And extending their journey is something that a lot of people like to do. We do loads of coast to coast Canada holidays. And this is one of the biggest countries in the world. Right. So that is an amazing thing to have done. You'll spend, what is it, five nights on board? The, yeah, five nights on board the train um, and 10 nights in hotels along the way. But you can see a huge amount in the 18 days here. You fly from London to Halifax, find somewhere nice to have dinner by the water before traveling one night on Via Rail to French speaking Quebec, uh, beautifully situated on the St. Lawrence River, uh, obviously famous for being French speaking architecture dating back to the 17th century, uh, lovely old town area. Uh, it's incredible to see i've never been the whole of the way from coast to coast in canada myself but many of my colleagues have and the difference between sort of the old towns of quebec and of uh, montreal in the in the east to kind of the uh, you know the mountains and the ocean and the uh, and the, the huge cities of the west coast is really really interesting we'll include you a sightseeing trip in montreal after you've traveled that short distance by rail it's famous for its cobblestoned French colonial uh, old town, the Gothic Notre Dame Basilica. And it's got really quirky different boroughs. Uh, it used to be lots of different cities. Now it's just one, one large one with uh, boroughs with different personalities. Take you to Toronto with a sightseeing tour, a hop on, hop off. And of course, we'll include a day trip out to Niagara Falls on the US border. One of the seven natural wonders of the world. Uh, you see Horseshoe Falls there. It's certainly something not to be missed while you are in Canada. Absolutely incredible scenery. But you can do an adventure pass for Niagara Falls. So you can get a boat tripper to kind of see them more up close. You can get sort of different sightseeing tours and things like that. From Toronto, we board the Canadian train, which travels some 4,000 kilometers between Toronto and Vancouver. It's an epic ride um, on an amazing train with huge observation cars. You can upgrade to, to, uh, to cabins or to berths or to even, they've got, it's called prestige class. We'll have a look at the end of the webinar on, a, on the details of that. You'll travel you know, the whole length of Canada, essentially, uh, prairies, lakes and kind of uh, lots of country, country parts and things like that. Rocky Mountains, picturesque towns, every kind of scenery that you could possibly imagine when you travel on this train. You'll get off. Um, you can travel it all the way through to Vancouver in one go if you'd like to. Um, but we'd recommend getting off to see the national parks, uh, to see Jasper and Banff with all those sightseeing tours that we've mentioned before. So you really do get to soak up the incredible scenery. Then travel the, the remainder of the journey one night between Jasper and Vancouver on board the train. Um, and you'll get to uh, have dinner by the opposite coast, uh, which is which is wonderful. We can do trips out to Vancouver Island for you if you'd like uh, up to the Vancouver lookout. Of course, hop on, hop off and um, 
journeys, which I just think are uh, are fantastic. Such a great way to get around. Uh, nobody prefers a hop on, hop off um, more than my mum does, though. She absolutely loves me. She'd do one in every city she visited. And I, and I understand why, because it means you get that, that commentary on board. You can sit on the top deck while it's sunny. You, you know, you're never not sightseeing. No time is wasted. You're not, you know, wasting time traveling or uh, or anything like that. Sticking with the coast to coast kind of theme, but well, what kind of a, uh, a presentation on North American rail travel would this be if we didn't mention the Rocky Mountaineer? You can travel into uh, Toronto, take a trip out to Niagara Falls and then do the, uh, the Via Rail train as far as Jasper before carrying on on the Rocky Mountaineer. So it's the best of, uh, of both worlds. You get the amazing scenery and the epic journey on Via Rail and then the luxury of the Rocky Mountaineer, um, which several of our staff have been lucky to, lucky enough to do um, and uh, always more than happy if we do have inquiries to jump on the uh, jump on the phones and uh, wax lyrical about how amazing an experience this is um, if my boss is listening I wouldn't mind doing that one at some point in the future you'll start off in, in Toronto with a sightseeing tour a hop on hop off the day trip out to Niagara Falls of course before boarding the Canadian, which also has huge, um, the, you know, kind of observation car windows, you can sit and look out at the scenery. The full route is 4,466 kilometers long. So really is absolutely epic, that journey. Of course, we'll include all the sightseeing in the Rocky Mountains for you. So you get the uh, the sightseeing tours, you get to visit Malign Lake and the canyon, the Skywalk, the Athabasca Glacier, the Columbia Ice Field. The most amazing scenery in the uh, in the whole world that I'm trying to sort of fit into one slide to kind of capture how amazing this area of the world is. From Banff, you board the Rocky Mountaineer, you travel as far as Kamloops one day, have an overnight in a hotel and then travel from Kamloops to Vancouver the next day. All the scenery on the Rocky Mountaineer is in total daylight. You don't sleep on the train, you sleep in a hotel so that you know that you're seeing everything there is to see. You can see the uh, the navy blue and, uh, and gold coaches there. This is an iconic train. It's an iconic journey uh, or a couple of iconic journeys. We can certainly do absolutely any of them for you uh, and wonderful scenery. Um, you'll see Kicking Horse Canyon, the Cascade Mountain Range, rivers, lakes, waterfalls along the way. You know, it couldn't be more wonderful and it is the most luxurious way to experience it. There's two classes of travel on the Rocky Mountaineer. There used to be three, um, but they have done away with uh, which was the uh, the bottom of the three. And now there's just silver leaf or gold leaf. Uh, so we include silver leaf as standard. But uh, yeah, if you want to upgrade, chat to one of our guys who's uh, who's done the journey. Um, actually, our sales manager has done the journey in both silver leaf and gold leaf. So he's the best person there. He'll be able to chat to you about the uh, the differences. But when when um this is the tips that I've got from uh that I've got from him that I'm happy to pass on to you guys today. Silver leaf has got single domed coaches. Uh, you still got those huge oversized windows that you can see there. You have meals served at your seat, breakfast and lunches included. Uh, they'll uh, take your baggage from the hotel to train and train to hotel for you. You get complimentary drinks, alcoholic and non-alcoholic, and snacks along the way. Um, uh, you know, it's it really is a fantastic, a fantastic way to travel, and uh, the service is famously wonderful. And you know, two things that aren't going to change which class you're travelling in: the service and the views. So you cannot lose with the Rocky Mountaineer. An upgrade to Gold Leaf will get you truly five star gourmet dining uh, throughout your trip. You get bi level coaches, um, you know, with the windows stretching right up into the ceiling, huge panoramic windows, wonderfully sort of expert chefs preparing, you know, really gastronomic hot breakfasts and lunches. You'll also get sort of morning scones with cream and jam and cheese and wine in the afternoon. Um, there's an outdoor viewing platform so you can take your camera and uh, get out there if you do see kind of bears or amazing wildlife from the uh, from the train, which is very, very common. You, you can uh, get out to the outdoor viewing, viewing platform to take amazing pictures. You'll also get your drinks and your snacks and your baggage delivery as well. So either way you do it, it's a fantastic experience. Back to the US now for one of my favorite rail holidays. Uh, obviously, we, we we hope that everybody wants to do, you know, everything by rail and huge kind of rail holidays. 
but we cannot ignore that the trains are also a fantastic way of getting from place to place. And this really does capture that fully. You know, whilst you could do it um, easily and, and everyone thinks you about it in Prague, Vienna, Budapest or in Venice, Florence and Rome, you can do that exact kind of holiday over in the US, especially on the East Coast. Boston, New York City, Philadelphia and Washington, D.C. The longest journey time here is about three and a half hours. You get to see four brilliant cities um, with really short little hops from city centre to city centre. So, um, you know, I've, I've been to these cities. I would not want to drive and park in the middle of New York City and I would not want to transfer out from a, from one of the airports in Washington, D.C. whilst I was in the middle of my holiday going from place to place. Let the train take the strain, as I, as I always said. And, uh, you know, this is a great way to have one holiday, see four brilliant places. We'll include a hop on, hop off for you in Boston and a city pass. So you can see the New England Aquarium, take a harbour cruise, the Skywalk Observatory as well. Boston is one of my favourite cities in the whole of the uh, the whole of the USA. It's a, a really fantastic kind of a New England New England city. Um, it's also very near where our Amtrak Vacations headquarters are based, uh, which is just outside of Boston. Um, and you know, there's so much to see and do. Loads and loads of history and a great seafood up in New England as well. You can have a pint of Sam Adams beer looking at a statue of Sam Adams, which amused me greatly. <laughs> um, but, you know, the city pass is probably the, the real top things to do in Boston. About three and a half hours from the centre of town to the centre of New York City. We can include a city pass there too. So you'll get to see museums, go to the top of the Empire State Building, go to the Statue of Liberty. It's an all year round destination, New York City. I uh, went at Christmas a couple of, couple of years ago, went in the summer last year, and it, there's absolutely no bad time to go. There's so much to see and do. It is, you know, the place dreams are made of New York as far as I'm concerned. From there, travel on to Philadelphia, very famous for its rich history. You can see the Liberty Bell or climb the steps of the art museum, uh, like in a Rocky, if you like. Um, we'll include a city pass, you get entrance, VIP entrance to the Museum of the American Revolution, the observation deck to look out over the city, hop on, hop off bus tour, the Franklin Institute, a really interesting place to visit <clears throat> and treat yourself to a cheesesteak, of course. And from there, travel on to Washington, D.C., just another couple of hours, uh, explore with a hop on, hop off bus tour. And, uh, you know, there's so much to see and do. All of the museums are free, the Smithsonian Museum. So there's, you know, so much uh, to see and do there. A wonderful, wonderful place with a really rich foodie culture, as well as some of the most amazing history in the United States. For all of you who are huge rail fans and huge cruise fans, um, and I know that, that uh, there are lots and lots of people that fit into both categories, this is one of our most popular trips. Combines an amazing journey through the Canadian Rockies by rail with an Alaska cruise, which I could do a whole presentation just dedicated to this one holiday. It is absolutely amazing once in a lifetime experience. We'll include the trip to Malign Lake for you, the uh, Banff Gondola to see the incredible views, the tour of the Icefields Parkway as you travel from Banff to Jasper, uh, admission to the Vancouver Lookout as well. And from there, you can get on this amazing Alaska cruise aboard the Norwegian Jewel. So this is a, a very famous cruise cruise liner with incredible facilities available on board, you know, cinema and casinos and, and all of the amazing things that, you, that you'd be used to on a cruise ship, but also some of the world's most stunning scenery. I'll try and tell you a little bit about it, but honestly, as I said, I could do a whole presentation just on this cruise. Travel down the inside passage so you'll get the uh, see the wildlife and whales to Ketchikan, uh, which is Indian for special spread wings of eagle, um, where you can uh, you can explore there and you get some more amazing wildlife sightings. You'll dock in Juneau to see uh, sort of Alaska's peaks and Glacier Bay National Park. 
you'll get a sightseeing tour of uh, of Skagway, which is a gold rush era town. Um, and you'll sail through Glacier Bay as well. 3.3 million acres of national wonders there. See the Hubbard Glacier, uh, which is 1,350 miles of, um, you know, of blue ice. So, I mean, I'm not doing it justice. I'm so aware. <laughs> I'm so aware of that. But this is one of the world's greatest cruises through one of the most kind of amazing, amazing places. They limit the number of boats and things like that that, that, that go and where they can go. You're going to get the most amazing scenery that potentially you'll you'll ever have seen so if you're interested in this part of the world this is the definitive experience to kind of see Alaska and combined with the amazing sightseeing in the Rocky Mountains and with the the overnight on via rail and the the amazing travel um through the Rocky Mountains by train if you if you'd like to travel to see the scenery you could do a lot worse <laughs> than this holiday uh, yeah not to put too fine a <laughs> fine a point on it you can you know see the, uh, the examples of wildlife and things like that there and do whale watching and things while you're on the trip as well. Route 66, um, we've gone back into the US now. Um, Route 66 is one of the most famous uh, road journeys uh, in the world probably. Uh, but what people don't know uh, is that you can also do the same trip very easily by train. We've got loads of people who uh, who don't want to drive when they get over to the US. And I completely understand. I've been coast to coast across the US twice. I've been on, a, on you know, a dozen holidays there. And I've never been behind the wheel of a car while I've been out there um, because you don't have to. You really, really don't. Um, what You know, if you combine sort of sightseeing tours and rail journeys and things like that, you'll get to see all the amazing points on the journey. L.A., the Grand Canyon, through Albuquerque, St. Louis and Chicago, or spending time on Amtrak and seeing the scenery from a different point of view. Um, that is with a glass of wine <laughs> in an armchair looking out through an observation car window, which uh, doesn't sound too shabby to me at all. You can do this in either direction. So from Chicago to L.A. or from L.A. to Chicago, just like you can with the drive. Chicago, obviously, the uh, the, the big Amtrak hub, most of the uh, long distance journeys go either in or out of Chicago. Travel down to St. Louis and you'll get the amazing uh, trip on the, the uh, to the Gateway Arch. They've got kind of a um, you know ride that goes up so you can see all the way over the city. Absolutely amazing. Travel down to Albuquerque, which is our, one of our managing directors' favorite destinations in the U.S. And he lived over there for for, for 20 years. And uh, yeah, he, he says it's a really nice, typical kind of New Mexico town. Wonderful scenery. There's a, a kind of a, an experience you can get that goes right up to kind of look down over, as you can see there. Famous for their balloon festival, but also for some fantastic kind of a Tex-Mex cuisine there, too. Of course, we're going to include the Grand Canyon the Grand Canyon Railway, that famous tourist train experience that we spoke about earlier. A couple of different classes uh, of travel there. But, you know, as far as scenery goes, this is one of the most uh, beautiful natural wonders of the world uh, that we'll make sure you see. You can extend your stay in the Grand Canyon to have more time to look around if you would like to. And you will end your trip in Los Angeles. Make sure you take a snapshot of the end of Route 66 at Santa Monica Pier um, and we'll include sightseeing tours, tours of the stars, homes, all of the stuff you, uh, you'd you like to do when you're in Los Angeles, which is uh, somewhere like no other. I'll, um, I'll definitely say that it is um, a crazy, crazy place, um, but it, there's so much to see and do. And uh, it definitely, if you've not been before, it's uh, definitely somewhere to tick off the bucket list just for the experience of it. We've done nine. This is our last holiday. Thank you all for staying with me um, and, and indulging me as I as I get to chat about all these amazing railway experiences that you can get over in the US. And there are so many more as well. If you uh, look at our website or give us a call um, and uh, one of our rail experts will chat with you about where you'd like to go. But there are trips that go down from, you know, LA across the bottom, almost grazing the Mexican border to New Orleans. You can travel and stop off several times along the Californian coast. Uh, you know, it's too much to fit into one presentation, but these are some of the best journeys in the whole world. If you're a rail fan, they really, really are. And this one I'm including as it stops in Glacier National Park and it takes in another of the famous uh, Amtrak routes, the Empire Builder Train. 
over in the US, this is one of our most popular holidays because they've cottoned on to how amazing Glacier National Park is, um, which is something that is getting more and more popular for, for travellers here in the UK, certainly. It's also great for Amtrak because the train stops outside the door. <laughs> um, we've got allocation in all of the national park lodges too that can be really, really hard to find. Start off in Chicago and take the Empire Builder to Glacier National Park. As I mentioned, have a couple of nights in the Glacier National Park Lodge and we will include your sightseeing while you're in Glacier National Park. So it's just, you know, miles and miles of, of majestic wilderness, 130 lakes, a thousand different species of plants, 16,000 miles of protected land. It's open um, in its entirety from May to September. So this is a summertime journey. It's very north uh, in the US, but it is just truly magnificent and a wonderful place to spend a few nights. We'll do a boat trip for you. Uh, you know, you can hike and go out on the lake and others. Oh, it's just it's just wonderful. Our uh, American colleagues cannot speak highly enough of it. The Empire Builder, that's a shot of the train there. One of those fantastic double decker trains takes you through the incredible scenery uh, along bits of the Lewis and Clark Trail, the early pioneers kind of trail there. Goes from Chicago to uh, to Seattle or Portland. So you're getting the amazing scenery of the, uh, of the wilderness of the north of the US. Finish this journey in Seattle. Um, you'll get off the train, have a couple of nights there. We'll include a hop on, hop off pass in the Emerald City. Uh, you could travel to with that to Pike Place Market. You can visit the first ever Starbucks, um, which I find exciting. Maybe other people wouldn't, but it but it was great. Um, go down to the waterfront. We can uh, get you past to the top of the Space Needle, of course, if uh, if you'd like. Then you'll board the Coast Starlight train and travel down to San Francisco. The Coast Starlight train is the uh, is the train that we looked at that went up from LA to San Francisco along the coast. It then goes from San Francisco up to Seattle through Portland. It's not coastal, but you get sort of the mountains and forests. It's still a very, very scenic journey. Um, a really, really wonderful one. I know you could always carry on down to LA after your stay in San Francisco to see the see the coastal part of that that journey too. So there we go. I'm, I'm catching my breath. Top 10 rail holidays um, with rail bookers, with our sister brand Amtrak Vacations, um, the official tour operator of Amtrak in the United Kingdom, in the United States as well. Um, so I've told you, I'll give you the sneak preek of our little flash sale, um, well, big flash sale that we've got starting tomorrow. Uh, so you really, truly are the first people to see that. Um, so get thinking about what you'd like to do. You've got an extra day, it runs for 10 days. We'll start taking bookings of that tomorrow. I'll just uh, run through sort of what that really gets you, the different accommodations on board the train. Coach accommodation is not like kind of, uh, you know, coach accommodation on your trip from uh, London up to Liverpool or anything like that. Huge seats like business class on an airline, huge windows as well. Um, you'll get access to the observation car so you can see all of the scenery passing by. Two seats in a row, no middle seat. That's a picture of the lounge car there. And that is where I spent a lot of my time on my coast to coast Amtrak trip, I'll be honest. And um, even when it, you know, I went. So I was there for the 4th of July. So it was in the middle of the summer and in the school holidays as well. And, and I got a seat. I got a seat every time I wanted one. Um, so, you know, it does get busy. It, it does. But, but you know, we get all asked all the time, will I get a seat? Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll get a seat. You'll almost certainly. And certainly, you know, for, a, for part of the journey, at least you can sit back. You can there's a snack car so you can get sandwiches and hot dogs and pizzas, beer, wine, cocktails, soft drinks, uh, really, really good coffee. Um, and sit back, watch the scenery go by. When you upgrade to sleeper accommodations on Amtrak, you get a bed to sleep in, a private space. Um, you can check in your luggage the whole time. So just take a little overnight bag on the uh, on the overnight sections. You can upgrade to a roomette. This is what I did. It's two seats that face each other in the day uh, that convert to beds at night. Uh, no one suite, bathroom facilities down the hall, really high standard of cleanliness, um, uh, you know, loose and a, and a couple of showers per carriage there as well. Or you can uh, upgrade to a bedroom, which gives you kind of an ensuite uh, for the whole journey and, um, you know, a bit more space, basically. So that's kind of the highest tier, which is really, really nice to do.
huge savings to be had when you do that with Railbookers in the next 10 days. The great thing about upgrading to um, bedroom accommodations or roomette accommodations is you get all your food included on your journey. And guys, this is really good food. It's uh, all freshly cooked on board, burgers and steaks. These are all my pictures. Um, apart from that, that top obviously posed one. <laughs> the, uh, the bottom one's there. That was my uh, my view as we ate dinner on our first night from San Francisco uh, to to Denver. They've got a cocktail menu. you have got a burger for lunch with an IPA and, and uh, steaks cooked to order but they've got seafood dishes pasta dishes vegetarian options all all sorts on board and it's all apart from alcoholic drinks everything is included with your ticket so with the, with these savings for the price of upgrading you know you'd you'd spend more on just the food and you get your uh your overnight accommodations included and total privacy for the whole trip even in the day you can sit and look out your own huge picture window you can upgrade on Via Rail. There's three levels of accommodation uh, on the Canadian train. Uh, you get berths, which aren't like roomettes because they're not their own little rooms. You get sort of thick button down curtains um, for privacy. But the beds are the biggest on the whole of the Via Rail network in these berths. Or you can upgrade, um, which we'd certainly recommend, to a bedroom for two. So converts. Uh, chairs that convert into bunk beds an ensuite there to your own huge picture window and a, a private space for the entirety of your journey as with Amtrak you get all of your food included on board and you get access to the observation car which uh, has the amazing panoramic windows you can sit back and look out at the scenery as you travel um, a wonderful wonderful experience if you are really wanting to upgrade, then this is on my bucket list to do this on the Canadian Via Rail's Prestige Class. A double bed with your own picture window, uh, an entertainment system with a DVD player and things like that for your whole journey. All your alcoholic drinks um, and your non-alcoholic drinks included for the whole journey. A private steward, access to your, uh, your own just for Prestige Class passengers, to your own bullet lounge at the back of the train. Uh, big armchairs and sofas you can sit out and watch the scenery and of course access to a uh, private observation cars and things like that um, and the and the normal observation car as well whenever you like when you're in prestige you can save 400 pounds upgrading to prestige class on there uh, on via rail with rail because flash sale the food on via rail is truly magnificent as well all fresh to order that's not a prestige class meal that's just a regular regular meal all included when you upgrade to any kind of sleeper accommodations at all so this slash sale really does kind of save you loads and loads if you are thinking about a trip through the us or canada for your next holiday across the pond did I mention we were having a, a flash sale? Um, here are the details. So save £150 on Amtrak roomettes. That's a brilliant saving. £250 on Amtrak bedrooms or via rail berths. £300 on a cabin for two uh, with private en suite. And save £400 on prestige class complimentary bar service, uh, you know, private TV, dedicated concierge. It's an absolutely fantastic experience. So definitely keep this in mind as I mentioned starts tomorrow um, but you get an extra day for signing up to my webinar uh, as my treat to you <laughs> hope you've enjoyed um, I hope you've uh, got some inspiration for your next trip you can book any of these types of holidays with rail bookers there are many many more US and Canada itineraries in our brochures you can get one railbookers.co.uk forward slash request hyphen brochure will pop one in the post to you ASAP you can browse any destination that you've seen on this webinar plus many more all over the world on our website and how do you book it's a great question um, I would have been amiss to miss that out at the end of the presentation give us a call if you've got any questions if you want to make an inquiry if you're curious and just want to learn more it's 0203 780 2382 we've got such a great team here um, of rail experts that will be more than happy to help or your local travel agent will be able to book your favorite rail bookers holiday for you as well still love going in to a travel agency 
and every single person on the webinar gets £25 in addition to the flash sale off their next rail holiday. Um, just mention that you were uh, that you were on the webinar, but within the uh, the time constraints of that flash sale, and we'll be more than happy to uh, to give you an extra £25 off. We've had so many questions come through, um, and I'm so sorry that I don't have time to answer them, as it is 10.57, and uh, my webinar only has an hour long slot. But somebody will be in contact with you to answer any questions that you've asked. If you've got any more, please do send them through webinars at railbookers.com, and uh, I will personally get back to you with an answer. As I said earlier, no question goes unanswered at Railbookers. That's it. All that's left to say, guys, is thank you so much for tuning in, for uh, joining me for this presentation today. Hopefully, uh, you've got some inspiration for your next trip. You found out about some amazing savings with the attendee discount and the flash sale. Anything else that you need to know, just get in touch with us. Uh, we want to do anything that we can to help you and to help as many people as possible experience uh, the whole world, but uh, particularly for this presentation, the USA and Canada by rail really appreciative that you've all joined us so thanks very much and uh, hopefully we'll be speaking to you very very soon